of Titele Lava. This is a video on plural emphatic pronouns. Remember that emphatic pronouns are said after the action or the main idea. So if you wanted to say that we played in the game, in Samoan it would be na ta'alo i mato ile ta'alonga. Na is the past tense marker. Ta'alo is the plural form of play. So na ta'alo together is played, past tense play. I mato is the emphatic pronoun coming after the verb or the main idea, which is play, played. And then the prepositional phrase, which we'll discuss uh, later, uh, is in the game or ile ta'alonga. Remember that you can combine a noun phrase type of sentence with action phrases that begin with tense markers. For example, instead of na ta'alo, i mato ile ta'alonga, you could begin with a noun phrase and say o i mato na ta'alo ile ta'alonga. These are two separate phrases, actually three because there is a prepositional phrase in there, but a noun phrase and a verb phrase with a prepositional phrase. So it's still one sentence, but the phrases are rearranged. Instead of a verb phrase with a noun phrase following it, you can put the noun phrase in front of it in its proper format, O plus the emphatic pronoun, I mato. These sets of pronouns are used for three or more people. So what about here? The old man asks, where did you all go? The mom replies, Sanonofo i mato i lepotumoi. Sanonofo i mato i lepotumoi. So where is the verb? The verb is nonofo, or the, that's the plural verb for sit or nofo. So this version of we is right after the verb nofo, and it's i mato. Again, a lot of people omit the i mato and just say mato. So it would be sa nanofo mato ile potumoi. And why does she use mato instead of tato? Right, because she's excluding the old man. She's just saying us three. So our group right here, mato, i mato. If the old man asks, where did we sit the last time we we all came. If they all sat in the room, including the old man, she would say, Sanonofo i tato i lepotumoi. Sanonofo i tato i lepotumoi. So that's all of them. That includes everyone, including the old man. You all, or y'all, is said oto. That's the version that comes after the verb again. So you'll often hear people say oko. And they'll spell it with a K and they'll say it with a K. So you three plus did a good job. It said na faya ngalwenga lele oto. Na faya ngalwenga lele oto. It can also be said na faya oto ngalwenga lele. Both ways the verb do or na faya which is the past tense do, so past tense do would be did, which is the action word for this sentence. It comes before the pronoun y'all or you all. So both ways, the verb do or na faya, which is the past tense of do because of the na, so na faya makes do into did. And you'll learn more about that in the tense marker section. So, since did is the action word and it's going to come before the pronoun, we're going to use oko or oto. So, na faya ngalwenga lele oto. Or na faya oto ngalwenga lele. So, finally, what if the old man was sick of them being in his house? He might think to himself or tell someone else, etengate leanga ilako. They are bad people. This is the use of them or those three people after the verb or main idea.
Notice that in this instance, there is an, an action word. There's not a verb, but the main idea is tangata leanga, or bad people. So you'll say ilato after tangata leanga, the emphatic form of they. So those three people, those three people, or three or more people, are bad. So tangata leanga, ilato.